Good morning, students. So, is it clear? Please respond. Voice is board is visible or not? Please respond. Okay. So yesterday I gave one question. So the answer is eight is one. So the short bar magnet is kept along the magnetic meridian with the north pole pointing north. You know? So this is the bar magnet. This is nothing but what solution about yesterday problem is this, right? So here north pole of the bar magnet is there. North pole of the bar magnet is pointing towards geographical. No, right in that situation, where is the location of null point on equatorial line? So this is nothing but what null point. Where is the location of null point on equatorial line at a distance d? At a distance d, we we'll get null point. Is it clear? So at that null point, two fields are acting. At that null point, how many fields are acting? Two fields are acting. So due to this bar magnet, the point is on equatorial line. So due to this bar magnet at that null point we will get B equatorial. What is the direction of B equatorial now to south in this direction parallel to the axis of the bar magnet. Is it clear? Now at that point one more field is here that is nothing but what earth's magnetic field. Horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field is acting from geographically south to north. So from south to north from that point BH is acting vertically upward direction. Right? <coughs> so in that arrangement at a distance d, that means what from here to here I am taking d, at a distance d, already given, at a distance d we will get null point, but uh, null point is on equatorial line, is it clear? So at a distance d, the null point is found, so in that arrangement, bh is balanced by b equatorial, at that null point, bh is equal to b equatorial, is it clear? But what is the formula of b equatorial? mu naught by 4 pi into m by d q. M is nothing but what here, let us consider M is the magnetic moment of the given bar magnet, D is the <coughs> null distance. So at this point, BH is balanced by B equatorial, that means both are equal. So BH is equal to B equatorial. What is the form of B equatorial for the given distance thing? mu naught by 4 pi into M by D Q. So remember this uh, equation. Now, now you have to find out at a distance D by 2 and at a distance this is nothing but what at a distance d we will get null point. At that null point, what happened? BH is balanced by B equal. Now we have to find out resultant magnetic field inductions at a distance d by 2 and at a distance 2d on equatorial. So basically from here to here distance d. D by 2 is nothing but what from here to here d by 2. So at this point, resultant magnetic field is I am taking B1. 2D is nothing but what from here to here D, again from here to here D, total distance how much from here to here 2D. Is that clear? So at this point, it's not null point, this is null point. At this point, B1, resultant magnetic field induction is B1 at a distance D by 2. At a distance 2D, resultant magnetic field induction is I am taking B2. Right? So at a distance D by 2, at that point, how many fields are acting? Two fields are acting. One is B equatorial, one I am taking there. So this is nothing but what B equatorial 1, acting downward direction, that means what north to south. From that point, what is the direction of BH, geographically south to north. So here BH and B equatorial both are in opposite direction, but not they are, they are not equal. At this point, they are equal at a distance D. But at this distance, what happened? BH is greater than our B, B equatorial 1 is greater than that of BH, right? So here we get some resultant field, that is nothing but what B1. So at a distance d by 2, at a distance d by 2, here I am taking resultant magnetic field index is nothing but what b1 by because bh is there, b equivalent 1 is there, right? So at a distance d by 2, I am taking resultant magnetic field b1, so two fields are acting in opposite direction, opposite direction is nothing but what, just subtract, 
So here basically B equatorial one is greater than that of B H. Why? Because here distance is less. Distance is less, field is more. Right? M by D Q by M. So D by two whole cube will get. So distance is less, magnetic field is more. That means B equatorial one is more than that of B H. So at that point, resultant magnetic field induction B one. So B one is equal to B equatorial one minus B H. Both are in opposite direction. Both are in opposite direction is nothing but what just subtract. Higher value minus lower value. Here higher value is nothing but what here. <coughs> equatorial one. Is it clear? So B one is equal to B equatorial one. At this point, B equatorial one is equal to how much? Mu naught by four pi into m by distance. How much here? D by D by two whole minus B H. Right. So after simplification, B one is equal B one is equal to eight into. So here mu naught by four pi into m by d cube by eight. So after simplification, what is the answer here? Eight into mu naught by four pi into m by d cube minus b h. Is it clear? Therefore, b one is equal mu naught by four pi into mu naught by four pi into m by d cube. Mu naught by four pi into m by d cube is nothing but what b equatorial. Mu naught by four pi into m by d cube. That means what here? B equatorial. But this B equatorial is equal to B H. Therefore, eight B H minus B H. Is that clear? Is that clear? Okay. Therefore, B one is equal to at this point. B one is equal to resultant magnetic field induction is equal to eight B H minus B H. So we get seven B H. So at a distance d by two, resultant magnetic field induction B one is equal to how much in terms of B H seven B H. Same concept. At a distance 2d, at a distance 2d, resultant magnetic field induction is B2. At that point also two fields are acting. One field is acting upward direction, one field is acting downward. That means what? North to south, parallel to the axis. That is B equatorial 2. Here B equatorial 1. Here B equatorial at null point I am telling. Right? So resultant magnetic field induction at a distance 2d. I am telling B2. So B2 is equal to here. BH is greater than that of B equatorial. Right? Upward magnetic field is greater than that of downward magnetic. Why? Because distance is more. Distance is more. Magnetic field is less. Therefore, B H minus equatorial two. So B equatorial two far forward here. Basically, mu naught by four pi into m by distance. How much here from here to here? Two d. So two d. Full cube. Is it clear? Here d by two at that point two d. So B H minus mu naught by four pi into m by eight d cube d. So mu naught by four pi into m by d cube is nothing but what here b equatorial again b equatorial is nothing but what b h therefore b h minus this term becomes b h b h by h so b two is equal to seven b h by h b h minus b h by h is nothing but what seven b h by h so that is a magnetic field induction at the distance two magnetic field induction at the distance at d by two is equal to how much this one seven b h At distance two d seven b h by eight. This is equation one. This is equation two. Therefore, equation one by equation two. What is the answer? B one by b two is equal to eight by one. Therefore, b one is to b two is equal to how much? B one is to b two. Ratio of magnetic field induction. So, at distance d by two and at distance two d is equal to how much? Eight is one. So, this is the answer. So, copy this. <coughs> So, do you understand this concept? At this null point, this is nothing but what null point. At a distance d, we will get null point. From that null point, we will get B H is equal to B equatorial. <coughs> Now, at this point, B one field is magnetic field induction is B one. At this point, B two. So, B one is equal to seven B H. B two is equal to seven B H by. Then both are divided. We will get ratio of magnetic field induction at a distance d by two into is equal to how much? It is one. Are you understand this? Please respond.
Mau buat? Copied or not, please respond. Next problem, continuation of this. In the above problem, in the above problem, in the above problem, in the above problem, the resultant magnetic field induction, the resultant magnetic field induction the resultant magnetic field induction in the above problem the resultant magnetic field induction at a distance d at a distance at a distance d on the on the axial line of a bar on the axial line of a bar magnet in the above problem that means north pole facing towards geographical north same concept so in the above problem the resultant magnetic field induction in a distance t on the axial line of a bar magnet right so in the above problem is nothing but what here? Suppose in terms of you have to find out BH, net magnetic field induction BH, in terms of horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field. Suppose there are also giving options, root 5 BH, second option 2H, 2BH, third one 3BH, fourth one BH. So which of the following is correct in terms of BH? The above problem, the resultant magnetic field induction on the axial line of a bar magnet. Resultant magnetic field induction. Suppose you have to take a point on axial line at a distance d. At that point, what is the resultant magnetic field induction in terms of pH? You know? So basically, <coughs> in the given problem, In the given problem, first of all, the north pole grounding east, west, north, south. So this is the direction of BH. In previous uh, in the above problem, what happened? North pole pointing towards geographical north, right? So in that arrangement, what happened? Where is the location of null point? Location of null point is at a distance d. We will get already that is the, in the given data. So at a distance d. At a distance d, here I am in get null point. At a distance d. Whenever the north pole of the bar magnet is pointing towards geographical north, at a distance d, we will get null point on equatorial line. Right? So at this null point, what happened? Two fields are acting. One is bh, second one is b equatorial. Second one is b equatorial. Right? Therefore, at null point, what happened? So at null point, at null point, BH is balanced by B equatorial. 
bh is balanced by b equal to here this is the given data the north pole of the bar magnet is pointing towards geographical north at a distance they will get null point that point is on equatorial line. at that null point what happened bh is balanced by that is bh is equal to b equatorial right now in second situation what happened the resultant magnetic field induction at a distance d on the equatorial suppose here i am taking uh, this is the one more point on which line is this? which line is this? axial line right so from here to here distance how much this is from here to here distance d again from here to here distance how much d and d now we have to find out resultant field at this resultant magnetic field induction at this point so at this point br is equal to how much no problem the resultant magnetic field induction at a distance d on the axial line of a bar magnet what is our aim at this point this point is on axial line at a distance d at this point resultant magnetic field induction is equal to how much right so <coughs> in this situation what happened due to this bar magnet this point is on axial line. this point is on axial what is the direction of b axial south to north that means what in this direction so this is nothing but what uh, b axial this is b axial right what is the direction of b axial with respect to this bar magnet that point is on axial right? what is the direction of b axial south to north at the same time at that point what is the direction of bh south to north geographically south to now resultant field at this point is equal to how much <coughs> suppose here i am taking this is the point uh, q i am taking so this is point p at null point p bh is equal to b equatorial now we have to that point get point to resultant we have to find out that field so at at q q is nothing but what the point is on axial line at that point you have to find out resultant magnetic field induction at that point right so at point q resultant magnetic field br is equal to resultant magnetic field induction br is equal to basically here both are in same direction initially i'm taking point q is on equal axial line at that point what happened look at the distance d at that point what happened b axial is there bh is there. therefore net field is equal to how much both are in same direction that means what br is equal to b axial plus bh both are in same direction from that point <laughs> okay therefore br is equal to, what is the relation between b axial and b equatorial from here to here this is the p point p is on equatorial line but a distance d we will get b equatorial here right that is v not by 4.2 m by d same distance on axial line that is b axial u not by 4.2 m by d q so what is the distance are same what is the relation between b axial and b equatorial b axial is equal to two times of b equatorial right distances are same from here to here i am taking distance d from here to here distance d is there. if distances are same what is the relation between b axial and b equatorial b axial is equal to two times of b equatorial therefore b axial is nothing but what here Two times of B equatorial plus B H. Therefore, B R is equal to B equatorial. B equatorial is nothing but what again? From this equation, B equatorial is balanced by B H. Therefore, two B H plus B H. Therefore, resultant magnetic field induction at that point Q, which is placed on axial line located at a distance d how much br is equal to 3 bh so this is the resultant magnetic field induction is it clear are you understand this first of all in the given data this is nothing but what given north pole of the bar magnet is pointing towards geographical north will get location of null point on equatorial line at a distance d already given this is but at that null point what happened bh is balanced by b equatorial now we have to make one more point q is our axial line which is located at distance d distance are same from here to here d again from here to here d at that point how many fields are acting two fields b axial and bh therefore net field is equal to b axial plus bh 
If distances are same, what is the relation between B x zero and B equatorial two times of B equatorial? Again, B equatorial is equal to how much from the given concept? B equatorial is balanced by B h. Therefore, B r is equal to two B h plus B h. So totally, the resultant magnetic field induction at point B is equal to how much? Three B h. Is it clear? Copies. <coughs> What? So next try this problem. So next one. In the above problem, copy this. In the above problem, the magnet is turned 180 degrees from the same position. When the net magnetic field induction at a distance d on the equatorial lines. Yes, 2BH. <clears throat> so first problem. <clears throat> In the above problem, if the magnet is turned 180 degrees from the same position, so initially north pole facing north. Null point is located at a distance d on the equatorial line. That is the given data. But 
In second situation, what happened if the magnet is turned 180 degrees from that position? So in that situation, the resultant magnetic field induction at a distance d on the equatorial line is equal to h. Is it clear? So first case, first case, what happened here? North pole, north pole facing geographical north. So east, west, north, south. This is the direction of B H. Is it clear? So in this situation. From here to here, this is nothing but what null point at a distance d we get null point. So at this null point, what happened? B H is balanced by B equatorial. B H is balanced by B equatorial. Your south is here. This is given. <coughs> okay now. So at null point, what happened here? See, so I am taking a point uh, P. At null point. In this situation, at that point, we get the resultant field becomes zero when north pole of the bar magnet is pointing towards geographical north. Therefore, at, at that null point, what happens? B H is balanced by B equatorial. Right? Now, second situation: if the magnet is turned 180 degrees, north is the south is the 180 degrees is nothing but what in this direction? Exactly in reverse direction. Now at this point, in the previous situation, what happened here? North is there, here south is there. At that point, we get the resultant field becomes zero. So B H is balanced by B equatorial. Now if the magnet is turned to 180 degrees, now here south is there, here north is there. At this point P, resultant magnetic field induction is equal to H. So if it is turned to 180 degrees, if it is turned, if it is turned to 180 degrees. If it is turned to 180 degrees, so what happened? Same diagram will be like this. So here south, north. If this magnet is turned to 180 degrees, turned to 180 degrees, so new equation becomes like this. So from here to here, same point P and then so distance D is there. Now in this position, wherever that magnet is turned to 180 degrees, then what happened here? At that point, how many fields are acting? Two fields. So with respect to this bar magnet, that point is on again equatorial. What is the direction of the equatorial? Not to south, parallel to the axis. So this is nothing but what B equatorial. Right? From that point, what is the direction of Earth's magnetic field BH? So acting from south to north. So this is BH. In previous situation, what happened? North pole pointing north will get null point. At that null point, BH is balanced by B equatorial. Now this bar, uh, this bar magnet is turned to 180 degrees. So here south is there, here north is there. From that position, point is here, located is uh, distance D. So at that point P, how many fields are acting? Two fields, BH and B equatorial. What is the direction of B equatorial? Here north to south, parallel to the axis. Therefore, at P. Resultant field is equal to resultant magnetic field is equal to what is the answer here? Equatorial B equatorial plus B H. So therefore, B R is equal to B equatorial. How much here? From the given concept, the B equatorial is equal to B H. Therefore, B H plus B H. B H plus B H. Therefore, net magnetic field is equal to two B H. Okay. So you have to remember that directions, but in this situation, B equatorial direction is downward direction. But whenever that magnet is turned, what happens? B equatorial direction is north to south parallel to the axis.
Boa. Please respond. Copied or not? Okay. <clears throat> so next problem, right on. So this is for homework. Homework problem, this is. Let's write down. A short bar magnet is kept. A short bar magnet is kept. A short bar magnet is kept. <coughs> A short bar magnet is kept along magnetic meridian. A short bar magnet is kept along magnetic meridian. A short bar magnet is kept along magnetic meridian. A short bar magnet is kept along magnetic meridian with its south pole <coughs> pointing down. With its south pole pointing. With its south pole pointing north. With its south pole pointing north. With its south pole pointing north. A neutral point is a neutral point is formed. A neutral point is formed. A neutral point is formed at a point P. A neutral point is formed at a point P. At a distance D from the center of the magnet. A neutral point is formed at a point P at a distance D from the center of the magnet. Then, then, then the net magnetic induction. Then the net magnetic induction. Then the net magnetic induction at a distance d, at a distance d, then the net magnetic induction <coughs> at a distance d on the, at a distance d on the equatorial line of a bar magnet is, equatorial line of a bar magnet is equatorial line of a bar magnet is equatorial line of a bar magnet is first option first option 5 bh by 2 5 bh by 2 <coughs> second option 3 bh by 2 Third option, 7 bh by 2, 7 bh by 2, fourth option, bh by 2. So these are the options, try that one, okay now. Next problem, the, this is for homework. Next problem, how write down? <coughs> So next problem, a short bar magnet of magnetic moment, 
a short bar magnet of magnetic moment a short bar magnet of magnetic moment a short bar magnet of magnetic moment 5.25 into 10 power minus 2 magnetic moment given 5.25 into 10 power minus 2 ampere meters the short bar magnet of magnetic moment <coughs> 5.25 in 10 power minus 2 ampere meter square is placed is placed is placed is placed with its axis with its axis with its axis perpendicular to the earth's field direction 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 at what distance from the center of the magnet at what distance from the center of the magnet at what distance from the center of the magnet at what distance from the center of the magnet on the normal bisector at what distance from the center of the magnet on the normal bisector at what distance from the center of the magnet on the normal bisector is normal bisector is the resultant magnetic field the resultant magnetic field inclined at the resultant magnetic field inclined at the resultant magnetic field inclined at 45 degrees the resultant magnetic field inclined at 45 degrees with the earth's magnetic field 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 so once again the short bar magnet of magnetic moment 5.25 to 10 power minus 2 ampere meter square is placed with its axis perpendicular to the earth's magnetic field direction at what distance from the center of the magnet on the normal bisector is the resultant magnetic field is inclined at 45 degrees with the earth's magnetic field in bracket bh is equal bh value given now we have to find out distance it b is equal to how much earth's magnetic field horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field is 0.42 G, G means what here? Gas. So, 0 0.42 into 1 gas is equal to 10 power minus 4 Tesla. The gas is converted to gas is converted to Tesla. Is it clear? Okay. Now we have M given, VH given, D is equal to how much? But given condition what here? Is placed, the given bar magnet is placed perpendicular to the Earth's magnetic field direction. Earth's magnetic field direction is nothing but what geographically south to north. So magnet placed east west direction, right? So <clears throat> so here So here south is there, north pole is there, here north pole is there. What is the directions of uh, east, west, north, south? So this is the direction of BH. Right? So basically what is the earth's magnetic field direction? South to north. But now the magnet is placed perpendicular to that BH, earth's magnetic. That means magnet placed around east, west direction. In that situation what happened? Magnetic field due to earth acting in this direction. Right? Now in this situation what I am asking here, 
at what distance from the center of the magnet so this is nothing but what here i am taking center of the magnet <coughs> on the normal bisector normal bisector is nothing but what equatorial now normal bisector is nothing but what here this is nothing but what equatorial now at a distance d now we have to find out this distance d normal bisector is nothing but what on which line equatorial line now take one point so at that point at a distance d at this given distance d now we have to find out that uh, distance in that situation what happened at that point how many fields are acting at that point how many fields are acting please tell at that point how many fields are acting two fields one is earth's magnetic field what is the direction of earth's magnetic field south to north so upward direction so this is nothing but what here upward direction so this is b h from that point from that point <coughs> from this point what is the direction of bh upward direction So at this point, how many fields are acting? Two fields. So first one is B H. What is the direction of B H? Acting vertically upward direction. That means what? South to north direction. Right? Normal bisector is nothing but what? That is equatorial line. On equatorial line, I am taking a point P. At that point P, what happens? Two fields are acting. Now first field is nothing but what? Here B H. What is the direction of B H? Acting from vertically south to north. at that point with respect to this bar magnet the point is on which line equatorial line. what is the direction of equatorial north to south parallel to the axis north to south is nothing but what in this direction so this is nothing but what b equatorial b equatorial is it clear according to the given data <coughs> magnet is placed east west direction at the same time Magnetic field. Let's magnetic field is acting vertical upward direction. Now, on the perpendicular bisector is nothing but what here I am taking a equatorial line. On that equatorial line, I am taking a point P located at a distance D from the center of the bar magnet. At that point, what happens? Two fields are acting. B H is there, B equatorial is there. Now, resultant of this, basically B H and B equatorial both are perpendicular to each other, right? Now, resultant, resultant of these two is nothing but what exactly in this direction. This is nothing but what BR resultant magnetic field BR. But according to given data, the resultant magnetic field is making an angle. How much here? Making an angle. Theta is equal to how much here? Forty-five degrees. Exactly. Total ninety degrees. So resultant is passing through in between them. That is nothing but exactly forty-five degrees with BH or forty-five degrees with B equal to it. That means what? What is the relation between these two? Resultant field is in this direction, not on 30 degrees, 60 degrees. Exactly 45 degrees with B H. So exactly half of means that means total angle is nothing but what here 90 degrees. 45, 45. That means what? What is the relation between B H and B equatorial? If both are equal, the resultant is exactly in this direction and it is making an angle 45 degrees. Suppose here I am taking this is M. This is M. One bar magnet, first bar magnet, magnetic moment in this direction. Second one in this direction. Both are perpendicular. Resultant magnetic moment in this direction is nothing but what? Resultant magnetic moment is equal root to m. But uh, what is the angle from here to here? 45. From here to here? 45. So if both are equal, the resultant is exactly in between them, and it is making an angle 45 degrees. So here are the same concept. Here B H is there, B equator is there. But resultant is in this direction, and it is making an angle 45 degrees. Right? So 45 degrees is nothing but what? What is the relation between these two? B H is equal to magnitude of magnitude of directions. Magnitude of B H is equal to magnitude of B equal. So whenever these two two are perpendicular to each other, if they are equal, what happens? Resultant is making an angle 45 degrees with B H, or resultant is making an angle 45 degrees with B equal. So according to given data, what is the relation between them? B H is balance. B H is equal to B equatorial. Both are equal. What happens? Resultant is making an angle 45 degrees with B H. Right? Suppose we have 30 degrees given. 
In that situation, B H is not equal to B equal to ring. It is 45 degrees. What happens? B H is equal to B. Suppose no problem in this arrangement. A right Pythagoras theorem means uh, here I am taking right angle triangle, right? Tan 45 is equal. Tan 45 is nothing but what here B equatorial by B H. Tan 45 one now. Therefore B equatorial is equal to B H. Allah Allah follow what? Consider now to me. Basically, what happened here? At a distance, particular distance, at, the, at this distance, the what happened at that point to fix that B H is there, B equal to this is nothing but what result. Result is making an angle 45 degrees, right? So from this, here I am taking a right angle triangle. So tan theta is equal. Tan theta is equal to how much here? Opposite, opposite by adjacent. Opposite is nothing but what B equal to. So from the diagram, from the From the diagram, so what happened here? Tan 45 is equal. Tan 45 degrees is equal to opposite. Opposite means nothing but what B equatorial. By B equatorial, B equatorial by B H. So tan 45 becomes one. Therefore, one is equal to B equatorial by B equatorial by B H. Therefore. What is the relation between BH and B equatorial? Both are equal at that point. Therefore, BH is equal to B equatorial. BH is equal to B equatorial. Now, we have to find out the distance from the given data. What is the relation between BH and B equatorial? Both are equal. Now, we have to find out the distance. How much distance I will take at that point? So, what happened? Resultant is making an angle 45 degrees. So, BH is equal to B equatorial. B equatorial is equal to BH. <clears throat> what is the formula of B equatorial? This is especially for short bar magnet. For short bar magnet, what happens? What is the expression of B equatorial? U naught by 4 pi into M by DQ is equal to BH. Therefore, DQ is equal to U naught by 4 pi into M by BH. Therefore, D is equal to mu naught by 4 pi into m by bh whole power 1 by 2. Substitute. <coughs> D is equal to mu naught value how much here? 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 by 4 pi into m value. Magnetic moment 5 points. 5.25 into 10 power minus 2. Why BH value how much here? 0 0.42 into 10 power minus 4 whole power 1 by 3. So we have to solve this. What is the answer? Please solve that. <coughs> we'll solve chain number. What is the answer? First answer to the name. According to given data, magnet is placed perpendicular to the earth's magnetic field. Now, on a perpendicular line, that means what? Perpendicular bisector is nothing but what? On equatorial line, at a distance d, we will get two fields. BH is there, B equatorial is there. The resultant is making an angle 45 degrees. This is the given data. Now, we have to find out this distance d. D is equal to moment. At that distance, what happened? BH making an angle 45 degrees with BR. So, from the diagram, what happened? Tan 45 is equal to B equatorial of BH. Therefore, BH is equal to B. B equator is nothing but 1 naught by 4 pi into m by d cube is equal to bh. Then d cube is equal to this. d is equal to substitute m value and bh1. This all is what is the answer? What is the answer? In centimeters. In centimeters, what is the value of d? First copy then. First copy this, then solve that problem. Answer send send the number. Please send the answer.
So actually here we get 5 into after simplification, 5 into 10 power minus 2 meters we get here. The meters we get first of all. Then 10 power minus 2 meters is nothing but what? So 5 centimeters. So first of all, we are getting meters, 5 in 10 power minus 2 meters. So 10 power minus 2 is nothing but what here? 10 power minus 2 meters is nothing but what? 1 centimeter. So 5 centimeters, not 50 centimeters. 5 centimeters only. The answer is 50 centimeters. So 5. 5 centimeters. Check check and look sorry. Whether it is 5 or not. Please check. Please respond. Is there a letter? Okay. Next one. So next question right on. A six centimeter short bar magnet. A six centimeters. Length of that short bar magnet is equal to how much? 6 cm. Suppose if it is long more than 10, that is long bar magnet. Right? Less than 10, that is now take short bar magnet only. Right? A 6 cm short bar magnet having magnetic moment. A 6 cm short bar magnet having magnetic moment having magnetic moment, length given here, length means not here, 2L, 2L is equal to 6 centimeters, right, so convert into meters, 6 into 10 power minus 2 meters, having magnetic moment, 0 0.3 ampere meter square, M given, capital M, 0 0.3 ampere meter square, length given, magnetic mm -hmm. moment given, a 6 cm short bar magnet having magnetic moment 0 0.3 ampere meter square is placed is placed is placed is placed vertically on a horizontal wooden table is placed vertically on a is placed vertically on a horizontal wooden table Horizontal wooden table. <coughs> horizontal wooden table. Is placed vertically on a horizontal wooden table. <coughs> the north pole of the magnet. The north pole of the magnet touches the table. The north pole of the magnet touches the table. The north pole of the magnet touches the table. A neutral point is found on 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 the table at a distance of 
at a distance of at a distance of 8 cm distance given d is equal to how much here 8 cm null distance this is so that is equal to 8 into 10 power minus 2 meters at a distance of 8 cm south of the earth geographical south of the earth or simply geographical south south of the earth then then the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field is then the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field is is it clear so length given magnetic moment given null distance given but here you have to remember this it is not a long bar magnet it is short bar magnet okay now then the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field is As I already told, whenever a long bar magnet, whenever a long bar magnet, long bar magnet is kept on a horizontal table, kept on a horizontal table. So what happened here? The south pole is here, here north pole is here. North pole is long bar magnet. I am telling, not short bar magnet. In case of long bar magnet, what happened? Null point is located on towards the vertical south at a distance d. So at this distance, the what happened? This is uh, B N. This is B H. Both are balanced. But at this point, there is no effect of this pole. Due to this, at that point, we we'll get some field. But actually, that field is very very negligible in case of long bar magnet. Suppose if you have take short bar magnet. So what happened? Due to this pole, at that point, what happened? We get some field. Right. So due to this. Due to the south pole, at that point, we we'll get some field. That field also we have to consider, especially in case of short bar magnet. In case of long bar magnet, no need of why because distance is more. So from here to here, distance is more. Distance is more is nothing but what we we'll get the that magnetic field is very very negligible, then, right? So in case of short bar magnet, we have to take due to that north south pole, field is considered at that point, right? You see here. <coughs> So this is the table, horizontal table. So here I am taking a short bar magnet. This is short bar magnet. The south pole is there here. North pole, north pole is on the table. So here I am taking. This is nothing but what the uh, south is. This north I am taking. Right. So backward, east, front, west. Okay, now so here I am writing this is south. Here I am writing this is north. Geographical north, geographical south. The north pole is on the table. So where is the location of a null point towards south? Already mentioned here. The north pole of the magnet is on the table at a distance of eight centimeters. So at a distance of eight centimeters, um, south pole of the earth will get null point, right? So from here to here, this is nothing but what d I am writing. D is equal to eight centimeters here. Where is the location of null point? The north pole is on the table towards south, geographical south. Suppose south pole is on the table towards north pole. Is it clear? Now in this situation, due to this north pole, at that point we get one field. That is nothing but what B and B. Due to this north pole having poles, so that means there. So this is nothing but what B and B and. So this is B and towards geographical south. Is it clear? Okay. Now, but due to the south pole, this is nothing but for short bar magnet. Due to the short bar magnet, what happens at that point? We also at that distance I'm taking at that uh, null point P. I'm taking at that point P. We'll get some field. This is nothing but what here. This is null point, right? Null point is located at a distance D. Whenever north pole is on the table. Towards south, we get null point. But in case of short bar magnet, what happens? Due to the south pole, also at that point, we get something. In that combined, B N and B S, 
when both fields are acting in opposite direction, then we get the net field at that point is equal to zero, right? So here, this is a uh, dispensary. Suppose the uh, yeah, south pole is here, from here to here. So from south pole to north pole, distance how much here? I am telling this is two L. Two L is nothing but what length of the wire magnet. So this is two L. This is this. So from here to here, distance how much root over? Down to the. Is it clear? From here to here, D. From here to here, two L. Length of the wire magnet. So from here to here, this is nothing but what uh, hypotenuse. Apply Pythagoras theorem. So what is the formula? From here to here, distance how much? S P distance how much? D square plus two L. Both. Right? In case of short bar now, yeah, this distance is also you have to consider. Due to this, at that point, you get some field. That field also has, you have to consider. But in case of long bar magnet, that field is negligible. In that situation, what happens? Bn is balanced by Bh. Is that clear? Okay. So, due to this south pole, at that point, you will get one field. What is the direction of that field? Due to north pole, radially. Due to north pole, radial outward. Due to south pole radially inward, so that is nothing but what here I am taking. This is BS. So in that concept, it is making some angle theta with horizontal, with horizontal. So one component is acting in this direction. That is nothing but what here BS cos theta. BS cos theta is acting in this direction. That means what south to north. Is it clear? Due to this south pole, at that point we get field that is BS. Making an angle theta with the horizontal, right? So one component is acting in this direction, that is B S cross theta. Towards now means that means acting from south to north. But at that point, one more field is there. That is nothing but what Earth's magnetic. What is the direction of Earth's magnetic field geographically south? G S is nothing but what here geographical south to geographical north. In this direction, that means what? Like so this is B H. In case of short bar magnet, basically B n is balanced by B h, but in this situation, what happened? B n is balanced by B h and B s cos theta. Is it clear? In case of long bar magnet, at that point, two fields are balanced. B n is balanced by only B h, but in case of short bar magnet, one component of B s is acting in this in this direction towards geographical north. So B H plus B S cos theta is balanced by B N. In that situation, what happens? Here we get nothing. Is it clear? Okay. <clears throat> so from here to here, distance I am taking the null distance. So at the null point, so at null point, first the concept of null. In case of very long bar magnet, there is no effect of south pole. The field is negligible. In that situation, B n is balanced by B H. But in case of short bar magnet, what happens? Due to this, at that point, we get something that is B S. One component is acting in this direction, in the direction of B H. B n is acting in this direction. So when both are balanced, what happens? The distance D, what happens? Both are balanced, what happens? Result in the magnetic field induction at the point B is equal to C. So at that null point, both are balanced. That is nothing but what? B H plus B S cos theta is equal to B L. About number, is it clear? At that null point, how many fields are acting? B N is radially outward. That means towards geographical side. But uh, towards geographical north, B H is there. B S cos theta is there. So when both are balanced at a distance d, what happens? We we'll get null point. So at null point, what happens? B H plus B S cos theta is balanced by B N. Now how to find out B H? This B H is equal to one. Therefore, B H is equal. B H is equal. B N minus B S cos theta. Right. Therefore, B H is equal to B N. What is the formula of B N? North pole having pole strength m. Distance d is there. What is the formula of B N? Mu naught by four pi into small m by d square minus B S due to this south pole at that point you will get B S. What is the formula of B S? Mu naught by four pi into small m. Constant m is there, but distance how much? Root over d square plus two l square whole square. Right? So B S is nothing but what here? Mu naught by four pi into m by d square plus two l square. So root over d square plus two l square is there. So square and square gets cancelled. What is the answer here? Mu naught by four pi into m by 
d square plus dl square. Again, cos theta. Cos theta is nothing but what from this right angle triangle. Cos theta means what here? Opposite. Adjacent. Adjacent is nothing but what here? D. D by this. Cos theta means what? Adjacent by hypotenuse. So d by d square plus 2l square whole root root over d square plus 2l square. Therefore, bh is equal. Bh is equal. Common factor what here? Mu naught by 4 pi into n common. So 1 by d square d by d square plus 2l square d square plus 2l square whole power 3 by d square plus 2l square root over d square plus 2l square. That is nothing but what here? 3 by 2 meter, common part. Right? So bh is equal. bh is equal to mu naught by 4 pi into. But here, whole strength does not given here. Right? So capital M is equal to small m into 2 m. Their whole strength is here. So capital M is equal to small m into 2 m. Therefore, small m is equal to what is the answer? Capital M by 2 m. Substitute here. Therefore, capital M by 2 l into 1 by d square minus d by d square plus 2 l whole square whole power 3 by. So, this is the expression for bh. Now, we have to substitute the values in this equation. M, m value how much here? 0 0.3. Right? 2 l. 6 into 10 power minus complete 2 l. 2 l is equal to 6 into 10 power minus 2. Then, find out. Bh is equal to how many? Substitute your chapter number and those answer. This is the expression. Substitute m value and 2 l value and d. m is there, d is there, 2 l is there. Substitute that equation. Find out that Bh, horizontal component of the given. Please send this answer. First copy is full. Tarvachan. <clears throat> so, are you understand this concept? Due to long bar magnet, there is no effect of south pole magnetic field. Ps sin theta is not involved in this concept. Got to get null point, what happened here? In this direction and in this direction, what happened? Two fields are acting, but one more field is acting in this direction. There is no effect of that. Bs sin theta. Along the horizontal, how do they go? Along the horizontal, what happened? Towards uh, south, towards north. Two fields are acting. In upward direction, Bs cos theta is not involved in this situation. At this point, what happened? Forward direction, Bn. Backward direction, BH and B cos. So in horizontal direction, what happened? Net force is equal to, net magnetic field is equal to zero. There, there is no need of BS sin theta. In this direction, one component is there now. There is no effect of that uh, magnetic field. Due to that BS cos theta, BS sin theta. Forward direction, backward direction, that's it. <coughs> Substitute M value, twelve value and D value. The easy game that you calculate child composer. Substitute M twelve value and D value. And find out that BH value at a given place.
Please send that answer. Next question, madam. This is for homework. Next problem. Please send this answer in the in the slide we get. So answer is ten power minus four. The order of ten power minus four. Ten power minus four Tesla. So what is the numerical value at this at this one? It is in the order of ten power minus four Tesla. In this line, decimal point you have to find out. So 0 0.3 or 0 0.4 or 0 0.5, whatever it means. Okay, next one. This is a uh, homework. Let's start down. <coughs> similar poles. Similar poles. Each of pole strength small m. Similar poles. Similar poles. Each of pole strength small m. Similar poles, each of pole strength the small m. Similar poles, each of pole strength small m are placed at a distance of are placed at a distances of are placed at a distances of are placed at 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma 8 so on 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma 8 so on meters 1 meter 2 meter 4 meter, 8 meter, so on like that. 1 comma, 2 comma, 4 comma, 8, so on. Not right, meters. Distances, you know, meters. 1, to 1 meter, comma, 2 meter, comma, 4 meter, comma, 8 meter, so on. From the origin. From the origin, on the x-axis. Once again. Similar poles, each of pole strength M are placed at a distance of 1 meter, comma 2 meter, comma 4 meter, comma 8 meter, so on. From the origin, on the x-axis. From the origin, on the x-axis. Where do you place a, 
where do you place a similar pole 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 of same pole strength m where do you place a similar pole of same pole strength m where do you place a similar pole of same pole strength m on the on the other side of the origin on the other side of the origin that means negative x axis on negative x axis on the other side of the origin initially here the um, poles are placed on positive x axis now this pole is placed on negative x axis some distance here right where do you place a similar pole of pole strength m on the other side of the origin so that so that the origin behaves a neutral point 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 this is for homework here uh, this is the origin right so this is the origin so at 1 meter pole strength m is there all are identical identical are nothing but what all are north poles or south poles is the north pole or south pole also the south pole also have been here pole strength m is there length from here to here one from here to here two meters next one pole strength m 4 meters like all are north poles are similar are about all are north or all are south is not this pole either north or south poles right where initially these uh, poles are placed on positive x axis this is nothing but what positive x axis now this is nothing but what negative x axis where the similar pole having pole strength m is placed on the other side of the origin then origin becomes null point so this is the distance right so whenever the uh, this pole is placed at certain distance d what happen due to this here one field is there due to all these we get one field here both are in opposite direction at what distance we we'll get resultant field induction magnetic field induction becomes zero that means what the origin behaves like a neutral point now how to find out this distance d d is equal to how much this is our question try this allow the number what distance similar identical pole having pole strength m is placed on the other side of the origin is placed the particular distance d so what happened in that arrangement what happened the net magnetic field induction is equal to zero at this point there is nothing but what br is equal to zero that means origin behaves like a magnet so how to find out this d value means this d try it first of all right okay so in next class we'll explain uh, we'll explain we will discuss about uh, torque acting on a bar magnet which is placed in uniform magnetic so these the uh, problems are based on neutral points around two three problems are also there so next class we will do some problems around two three problems after that we will discuss torque acting on a bar magnet. right okay thank you